A CESA is a very unique way to treat all the uterine fibroids a woman has while leaving the normal uterine tissue alone and safe. The ASESA procedure is done uh, under general anesthesia, so the patient uh, is, is given medication to help them go to sleep. The ASESA procedure usually takes anywhere from an hour and a half to four hours, depending on the number and the size of the fibroids. If you only have one or two fibroids and they're not overly large, the ASESA procedure doesn't take very long. The incisions that you'll have with ASESA are very small, one incision is usually at the level of the belly button and is less than one inch. The second incision that you'll have with a sessa is at the mid-abdomen and is approximately one and a half inches long. There's a little tiny hole less than the size of a pencil that where the assessor probe goes through and as the assessor probe comes out of that it leaves a little tiny hole there but that hole is very minimal in size and it leaves very little damage and that part of the uterine wall grows back together again. We use laparoscopy uh, which is using a camera to actually look directly at the uterus and, and the fibroids and we do ultrasound to survey the anatomy and make sure that we have the fibroids that we're looking for and we know where they are. Once we ensure that the device is deployed into the fibroid and treating the fibroid and sparing normal tissue, uh, we deliver energy to the fibroid. The SESA uses a certain type of energy um, that then goes into the fibroid, that heats the fibroid up and kills the cells of the fibroid. Over an eventual period of time, those cells break down and then the body reabsorbs those cells over um, a period of time, which can you know, be anywhere from a three to 12 month period of time. Now the fibroid may not totally go away, but it shrinks and many of the symptoms diminish incredibly. The day of the procedure, I arrived at the hospital and I had done all the pre-op in advance, so I checked in and I was literally whisked up to my room and then it was just a matter of waiting for the procedure to start. For some reason, I was not nervous. Um, my doctor was wonderful and her team and it was a two-hour procedure with two hours in recovery and I was able to go home the same day. Within an hour probably of recuperating from the anesthesia, I put some clothes on and was wheeled out to the car and sent home.